Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Rules Guide. We are back after a really long time and right now we are going to discuss something a bit more serious. We are going to discuss robotics. In this episode we are going to see how to build this from just scrap so to build a robot you're going to need the following things number one chassis number two clamps number three DC motor number four screw nuts number five electric wires number six DP80 switches number seven a power supply step one build the chassis so a chassis can be anything that is strong enough to hold the bot. For this video, we are going to be using plywood to make our bot. Like this one. Oh, well I guess this is too big. We need a smaller one. <laughs> Step 2. Drill holes into the chassis of the robot. For this, you can either drill it at your home or go to a carpenter and ask him to do the drill. It is going to look like this once we have drilled the holes and mounted the clamps on the chassis. We have already made the holes in our robot. As you can see, there are 8 holes across the chassis. Now let's move on to mounting the clamps on the chassis. Step 3. Mount the clamps on the chassis. Using some screw nuts and washers, we are going to mount the four clamps on the chassis on which we are going to fit the motors. Now we have placed all the four clamps on the chassis of the robot. Now it's time to put on the motors. For this video we are going to be using this 12 volt DC motor. It has a 6 mm shaft diameter but it doesn't have a very good torque. Step 4. Fix the motor with the shaft. For this we are going to place the motor as shown and then tighten it up with a nut. We can use a wrench or a plus to tighten it up even harder. Let's test this motor with a 12 volt battery before proceeding to the electrical connections part. Now we have fitted all the motors to the clamps. Now it's time for step 5. So this is the most important step. You have to turn into a goddamn nerd. Let's do it! And now we are ready to create a robot. <laughs> well, um, uh, uh, well uh, that's not really necessary. So let's proceed to the real step 5. Step 5. Soldering the motors to the wires. Now I'm going to solder all the four motors to the wires which will be connected to the DP80 switches and then it will go to the power supply. As you can now see I have soldered all the four motors to the wires successfully. Now let's put a tape over the wire so that it does not touch the ground or get entangled with the motors. Let's now put a clamp over here so the wires stay in position. It's all done now. Next up, let's fit the wheels 
to the chassis. I have successfully fitted one wheel, let's now fit all the others. The mechanical part of the robot is now complete. The only part that's left now is the electrical part, the connection of the DPUTs. So let's have a look on how the circuit diagram is going to be. In the right bottom, you can see the circuit diagram of the DPUT switches. The connections are made in such a way that these two switches control the four motors. Two motors in each side are connected parallelly. One switch controls two motors and in this way the board moves in forward, backward, left or right. So we have done it. We have successfully created the robot. Now it's time for the victory dance.